Hello everyone, this is John of Art and just a short vlog about an Ilongo word. Well, it's not really an Ilongo word. I just want to document a natural phenomenon that's going on at this very minute and it's the partial solar eclipse. So, against the light, unfortunately it's not very spectacular as the total solar eclipse. It's going to end soon and there's not really any difference in terms of lighting so it's just the same you can't really see the Sun being partially blocked by the moon it feels like you know late afternoon a gentle afternoon kind of feel so in Ilongo an eclipse is well eclipse and there's no um, there's no word I think as far as I know there's no word for an eclipse so we just call it eclipse but there's a story about the eclipse um, there's this giant mythical creature we call the Bakunawa so it's your equivalent for a Chinese dragon it's a big mythical dragon a big giant flying lizard and it's supposed to eat the Sun whole so the Bakunawa gobbles up the Sun or the moon when there's a lunar eclipse and well that's a little mythical folklore uh, Filipino style Bakunawa so it could be a giant dragon yeah <laughs> the total solar eclipse is right over Balut Island off the coast of General Santos City in Mindanao that is in southern Philippines well, we are here in Central Philippines, so it's not that right, like under, directly <laughs> under the sun. And just as the eclipse is about to end, there is a real eclipse going on, covered by the clouds. Look at that. So oh, my camera is not that powerful to capture anything. I can see other guys trying to capture, like they're over there, they're like taking a photo of the camera, oops, it's getting brighter now, look at that, so. I have a new discovery, if I, if I take a video using the reflection on this mud puddle, I can see, see over there, I can see a partial solar eclipse and it looks like a crescent there can you see it? I can see it <laughs> so we can actually see the solar eclipse I, can, I hope you can see it as I could I couldn't look at it directly but I could look at it through this puddle so that's my magic looking glass <laughs> that's creepy though I can't see it directly up there but I can look at it through here. <laughs> there she is. There. There. Oh, it's hiding again. It's hiding. I can see it with my naked eyes. Sometimes on this camera I can't. Or there, there it is again. Funnily, I can see it on this reflection on the mud puddle I'm not sure if I can do the same and see it up there it's like all covered in clouds and I can't even look directly at the Sun but I can do it down here on this mud puddle it's so exciting where is it where is that Sun hello mr. Sun mr. Eclipse Sun there is another superstitious belief about eclipses, especially for pregnant women. They are not supposed to look up at it. They can't stare at the solar eclipse while it is ongoing because the old folks say that it will cause um, a disfigurement of the face of their babies. So there might be some birthmark, like a big one, partially covering the face or maybe a total so if you can see that phenomenon where some people's faces are all covered in this dark 
um, skin condition well it is believed that it is caused by the mother looking up at the solar eclipse while it is still going on so it's a good thing I'm not pregnant so we can look up at the sky <laughs> so that's a, a superstitious belief aside from the Bakunawa so we have enjoyed gazing viewing at the Sun partially covered by the moon and also by the clouds <laughs> this is Joan of Art and see you in our next adventure for now